Hi guys, welcome back. Um, we've now got a Lex Moto 125. Uh, just a quick way to turn over. It's an MOT field, there's a couple of things to into it. Uh, the job I need to do now is replace this spring. It's a replacement spring there. The one and what's in it has gone. It's uh, absolutely knackered. I'm going to uh, clean up this back swinging arm as well. Uh, do some headset bearings and just clean the full bike up. Ugh. So what we're going to be getting on with. So we'll begin by taking the seat off. Okay, so to begin, we're going to take the seat off. So, this strap on the back here, by the way, this is just here to hold the bike straight. Um, as it doesn't have a centre stand, it only has a side stand. Um, right, so get the seat off to start this. So you need the key. Into the keyhole there. That releases the back seat. The back seat comes off. And there you've got a little storage compartment. Maybe some gloves in there, a little toolkit. And there's underneath here. It's this little toddly thing to spin this around. This one's quite loose anyway. Under this. Take that one out. And this seat will lift up slide backwards out, it's clipped under the tank, a bit of jiggly, it's a bit hard with one hand. This won't come out, it says. So, let's take the battery out, there's usually a little bolt in there, this one's missing. And this plastic just folds backwards, like so. You can then pull these covers back, like so remove them. That's that one. And bolts. Three wheel two. Move. Da, 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 da. That one. Screwdriver. Oh, we. Sorry, not very good cameraman. So I've undone them bolts, disconnected the wires, and the battery should just slide up out. There we go, because this will be a little bit tricky in one hand. And out the battery comes. There we go. Yeah. That's all that's there. Now I need to remove this battery casing. And the battery casing. Literally, um, how can I best show you this? If you come to the side here, it just literally pops out uh, like there. You see, there, look, and that pops out. It's two little plastic sticks, what stick in the side, prongs. And the same on the other side. Uh, can you see in there? Just here, pops out. And that's that off. There they are, two little plastic prongs. They just pop into two little holes inside of that battery tray. Now, oh, let's see. So, let's focus a little bit. There we go. So now, with a squeeze, I can get into the top of that shop mount there now. So I think I can get the top one. I can definitely get the bottom one from this side, it's about on the other side. So I'll now remove the shock by undoing this bolt and the bolt at the top. Now remember, when you take the shock off, the back of the bike's going to drop. So again, I've strapped it up to the ceiling just to take the weight. It's still on the floor, the bike's still set up, it's just literally taking the weight to the back end. So when I release that, bolt, release that bolt, the bike doesn't drop down, it's squishing my hands. Okay, I'll undo that and get back to you in just a jiff. Right, so I took the bottom bolt, I've loosened it off, I took the nut off the back of it. 13 this side and a 14 on the other side. So I just put a spanner on the back, socket on here, wound this one out, this is now loose. It can come out. And there's that one out. Now as I said, I've already 
lifted the weight off the bike, so there's no weight on this. So this is just sat there, look. The bike hasn't dropped, hasn't moved. And all I've done is just put a ratchet strap up to the ceiling, to a joist. And that's just holding the weight of the bike. So that one's off. The top one, a little bit easier. Uh, harder to get to, it's easier. So the nut on this side is actually welded to the frame. So I just put a ratchet spanner on this side. Fits in there quite nicely. And just line that out. So I'll line that one off and then the spring will drop out. And what bore you with me underwing bolts? Right, I've loosened that bolt off now, it's ready to pull out. Um, what there is on this bike as well, and um, coming around here, if you uh, haven't got a ratchet spanner, there is on the side of here in the frame, there's a hole in the frame here, Not if you can see that, and that hole goes right through to this bolt. So I can get a finger in there because I've the bolt. But there you go, see my finger. So if you'll take if you haven't get a finger back out, if you haven't got a ratchet spanner, you can take this side fair enough, this back fair enough, and you can get a, a socket straight into there, wind it out for socket. Um, right, so if I pull that bolt out of there now. Well, there she is. And then that spring now should literally just drop that through that hole there. And then back through. Yeah. There it is, look. The seals have got on that. And it's absolutely not good. Yeah, it could service it. But £20 off the internet. There's another one. And I'm just going to stick that one on. It's in about the same sort of condition at the bottom. Maybe this one's just a little bit cleaner than that one. And that one's obviously just a bit gammy and rusty. Um, but all the seals are okay in that. That's a good spring. And this is off a 2013 model. And it's going on a 2015 model. So, let's put this back on now. The exact verse of what reverse of what we've just done. Um, although I'm not going to put that on now because I want to strip the swinging arm off and I want to clean all this up and repaint. So I'll crack on with that. So the next thing for me to do now is to strip the back wheel off. So I'll undo the back spindle, put the back spindle out, take the back wheel off chain off obviously um, back brake we will need to take off if it's faster to the swinging arm I'll just come off this clip come off that clip I'll leave the back brake just to one side um, and then we'll take the swinging arm out take these plugs out the side of here both sides undo the bolt knock the spindle out and this back swing now to come off. So, I'll take the back wheel off and we'll go from there. Right, so, I've loosened this bolt here of the spindle. It's a 19mm uh, socket. Uh, what I like to do, put that there. That came off next, so let's line everything up just so I know which way it's come on. Off. And then this here, don't just start smacking it with a hammer because. If you do threads in, you'll struggle like mad to try and get it back on. So, you can have a... Leave this on. Like so, and then give it a gentle tap. A light hammer or a rubber hammer. Plastic hammer. Slowly. Slowly take it out. Now when you get to this point, it's going to be a bit hard. The, uh, I'll have to do this without holding the phone. I put a little centre punch in there and then knock that right the way through until I can grab it the other side. And obviously, as all these spaces drop out, I just put them in line at both sides of the bike so I know where they go. And uh, as soon as the spindle's out, I'll put everything back on the spindle 
all in order so I know where it all goes there's no confusion if it's a week or two before I get back together I know exactly where everything goes so there we have it uh, back wheels out just left the brake uh, dangling for now what I'll do is I'll disconnect this then from the end and just put that to the side because the bike's not going nowhere just took the chain off and overhung it over that side I'll have a look at the chain it may need a new one um, and as I was saying with the spindle Got everything on this back spindle now in order as it comes off and goes back on and the wheel sits here so there's no confusion when this goes back on I mean it's pretty straightforward anyway it'll only go one way but you know peace of mind that's how it goes these will all need cleaning up these will probably want re-zinking or painting or something because they're a bit rusty and these slide as well need cleaning up definitely good old grease but that's all on there now can't fall off can't go nowhere go back on right so the swinging arm and it disconnects these brakes so it should pop out and again on this one this one is probably bolted on yeah there's a little uh, star screwdriver bit underneath there Pause the screwdriver bit so I'll uh, remove that Pop this brake over to this side, out the way. Um, the chain's already out the way. I might need to take the chain guard off to pop the rest of the chain off. And then I'll undo these caps at the end, the swinging arm. Undo that cap just with a little flathead screwdriver very carefully. And then, or a little pick, undo the bolt. Knock the pin through the same way I did with the back wheel, with a little uh, centre punch. Tap that through gently, and that will relieve the swinging arm. Um, the bushes feel like they've got a little bit of play in this, so while I've got it off, I will replace the swinging arm bush as well. Because uh, it's just a, I mean, you can't see it, it's minimal, absolutely minimal. But there's just a really little bit of play in that, so I will change the bushes while there. I think we'll have a look at that. Right, so I've undone this Phillips screwdriver here. This just pops off that little bracket, like so. And then just to keep it out of the way, because I don't need to do anything with the brake, it's a good brake system. It's all new. Very carefully. Pop that through there. I see that down there. And it's just out of the way now. It's not going to get hurt by anything. It's out of the way. Let's connect that again. And that, I can leave all the rest of that like that. That's all brand new. So, we'll get the pick. We'll pick this cap off. Off here. You can almost hit your fingers, but we'll do all that and I'll get back to you. So, we'll get this cap off. I've just got a little flathead screwdriver. Just a nice little one. Just very carefully slide it in underneath. Like so, and then just give it a little. A little prize, a little wiggly seat slowly coming. And these little bits on this cut out for the screwdriver. You'll you'll see it, don't just go ramming it in anywhere and everywhere. I'll show you when it comes out. Um just very gently. Try not to damage your paint or anything. Oh sorry camera's not looking. Just very gently prise that out of there. Like so. And one second, well, there's my bolt that needs to be underwent. I'll kick it out there. So I'll undo that bolt. Looks like a 19, but we'll double check that in a minute. And knock that pin through. And that's where now we'll release. And the cap, the little cap. Um, yeah, better angle. So this is a little cap what's just come off. Underneath. You can see how it's got these little cut out someone's rammed a screwdriver into it there, look, but there it's got a little cutout just to put a screwdriver, a little flat screwdriver or a pick or something like that. And it just pushes in, that's all it is. Just pushes in, pulls out. But so there is let's focus, there is that proper little cutout there. If you to slide something up into there to be able to release this. Same on the other side. 
I'll do this ball, knock that out, swing it down, we'll drop out. So I'll do all that and I'll get back to you. So yes, it is a 19mm bolt. Just to confirm it, undo that 19mm bolt. Like I said, I'm just knocking that into there. I just very gently give that a nice gentle tap. And that'll come through. Like so. If I come around to the other side. See there, look. It's just knocking out. There's enough for me to grab hold of now. Pull that out. The spindle looks okay. There's a the spindle out. Um, there's a few wear marks on it to be expected. Um, there we go. It's nothing major. That's okay. When I put that back in, I'll put a bit of copper grease or something on there. Um, but I'm happy that's that's very very minimal. It's really it's just took the uh, just took the galvanised coating off, or oh, the zinc coating off. Sorry, it's very, very minimal. I can't feel it with my nail. It's nothing stopping me. So yeah, that's okay. I'm happy with that. I'll just grease that up. So I'll leave that on there for now. Back on this side. If I pull this out, my uh, tool back out there. It's not focusing very well, is it? There we go. So I pull this back out and swing an arm. I'll drop out. There we have it. Swing an arm is out. So, um, I just one thing I did forget to do. I did mention it. Chain guard. So I just need to take the chain guard off. Um, if I take the chain guard off, then the chain will just come over the swing arm to one side. But that's out. And that's off. It's just that chain holding it. I'll do that now, and then uh, we'll have a look at it. Okay, there we have it. She's out. So the chain guard, so I didn't say that, the chain guard. It's just, it's a 10mm bolt here, and a 10mm bolt, oh, just in that one there. Um, undo them 10mm bolts, slide it backwards, it slides that little lug there. Slides out of there, backwards, done and dusted. Says put it back on, slide it into that, do it till 10 mils up. Now, I don't like to put my little nuts and bolts back in just so I don't lose them. Although they do look lovely, so I'll probably put new ones in there anyway. Um, so, this is just the chain, chain guard protector rubber, whatever you call it. Uh, it's actually a two pound in two parts this one so you unbolt, unbolt that 10mm bolt there and on top of here it just unclips um, where are we? it's here unclips so that pulls off and there's, oh, can't even hold it now it's like this look this little shape, a bit of metal sticking out and this side obviously goes, got a hole in it and this side's got a hole in it and they pull off over the top of there and it pulls that off if I can get it off, one second, a little bit tricky. There we go. And that's off. So under that 10mm bolt, and that's that done. So I'm going to clean this up. Let me sort that dry out one second. There we go. So I'm going to clean all this up. Um, it is really, really, really flaky. I can feel it, the paint's lifted with a bit of rust underneath. It's all starting to come off, so this needs a right good old clean up. Probably put this in the blaster and blast it and then repaint it or maybe even probably coat, yeah, probably coat it. So we shall have a look at that. And see how we get on with it. Um, also these yeah, it's not on a bearing, this it is just on like um like a bush. There's a bit of excessive play in there, just just knocking a real little bit, well, not knocking, but there's just a real little bit of play on it. So you can see all the cobwebs and stuff on there, it's not been touched for years. So we'll have a look at that, we'll see. Maybe get them pressed out, press some new ones in. So there's something else for us to look at. Okay. 
it's all flick, it's ready, well ready for uh, a good service is this, uh, look, that's well gone. So we'll have a look, see what we're going to do with this. Clean it up, get it all blasted off and then we'll see what condition it's in. Right, so the boys have joined me, thanks boys, thanks for your help. Thanks, you're welcome. And they've been helping me, so we've put, we've cleaned up the foot pegs, I think we said we going to clean up, we painted Yay. them. We've uh, cleaned all, we've put a new back spring on, cleaned up the swinging arm, spray painted it, it's got a bit of dust on it now. Um, all they got rid of all this rust, we've ground it all off, sanded it all off, painted it up, put the second hand spring on, and tied it right up. Well, let's come on the other side. A bit dark around here, but same on here, the foot peg. All the back ends all cleaned up. Hello! Hello, Hal. So oh, she's uh And you're going to expect a new video tomorrow. Oh yes, we're doing a new video tomorrow, aren't we? Make sure to check it out, please. Yeah, make sure to check it out. Please can you where where we're going. Guys, gonna... please can you smash that thumbs up button? Who wants to see you... my undertaker? One minute, let Harley talk. And smash that red button button and the, if it's the subscribe red, button. It, it means you went up scrub make it grey. Yeah. Oh, that's your undertaker. Oh, Yo! That's your undertaker. That's ugly. Oh, crazy man. Undertaker. Crazy. So and guys, we're gonna fix our bikes, and we'll do so a vid should we do a video on that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a video on that as well then. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So cool. we're gonna be making two other videos. Yeah. And see so, how we do them. Back to this one then. Okay. All we've got left to do to this now is and headset bearings. So that'll do that in a separate video. Um, and yeah. MRT. Yeah. And, and, and guys, we can't record the MRT. No, but we'll uh, we'll nail it there, and then she's all done. We'll do the video when we sell it. Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner that back end now, though, doesn't it? Not clear doing it, not sad, yeah. So could have gone a bit further into it, could have done all these um, bolts at the end here, could have cleaned all the exhaust up. I'm not going too far into it. It is a two thousand and fifteen model. You know, it's six years old now. Hello. Going on for six years old. Uh, it's going on to six years. Don't want to go too far bye into bye it. Bye bye guys, I'm off downstairs into the basement. Oh yeah, thanks for watching. Hope I've helped you. See you all soon.